Welcome back, everyone. Let's get back to it. So Patrick had to do his Bing thing last, or like last episode. So now I get to do my anime corner. Oh, gee, look at look at this, dude. <laughs> I tried going this way. They're just like, nah, you're not fucking going that way. All right, Steve. Let's uh, let's, so, let's get into it. So you know, it's near the end of October. So I decided it was about time for me to check out most of the new fall anime. I thought you were gonna say spooky anime. I mean, there were, honestly, there were a lot of eggy shows. <laughs> so, I gotta go, I gotta go through and try to remember each one of them. So, yeah, I'll, I will just say, uh, everyone, I will do my best to make this ep an episode of progress since Stephen is... Go Stephen, ahead. just, you just start talking, okay? Alright, so, the first one is called Guni Tyson, which is just pretty much the Zodiac War. What is the Zodiac War? Alright, so, you know the Zodiac symbols, right? The 12, like... Th yes, I play yeah, Binding yeah. of Isaac, Steven. <laughs> I'm very much aware. That's... Um... A different one. Because... Oh, th those are constellations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, so, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, that re Quickly remind me, what are the, uh... Um... Snake, Dragon, Horse, Ox... Oh, okay. Chi the Chinese... Yeah, the Chinese uh, one. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So, this one is a death game between... Why are they always death games, Steven? <laughs> I have a, I have another death game in this. In this. Oh my god. Oh so, fuck, man. Okay, this one. This all right, so is it's it's a battle royale between twelve of the world's deadliest killers. Dude, don't say that word. You're gonna get uh, player unknown to sue you. Okay, this is the <laughs> ultimate game of life or death. And it's like all all these twelve are like different, um, you know, based on different ones. Like, yeah, here's the rabbit one. He um dresses like a Playboy bunny and just has a really big tail, like a bunny tail, <laughs> and he's my fucking favorite. Because the first episode, it starts off with the boar just slowly walking to where they're all meeting to do the event. Okay. And they all had to fight and Oh Mr. Oh, Mr. Oh, Odyssey, you alright. Okay. Here, let me assist you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We found we found tubs again. I found where are we? It seems we have our locked ourselves in the ship's armory. We have enough firepower here to wipe out any remaining settlements with ease. And even without this arsenal, Molstrom would still be able to, unstoppable with those relics. We need to find a way to stop them. Better move fast. I think the ship is headed towards Veli, Veal. This ship is unknown to me, but the firepower... Yeah, the firepower. Uh, so, if you win the game, you win, like, a wiki of anything you want. It can be anything, because I guess the um, people who made the event can just do that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, the boar gets her late. He's the last one to show up. And when she gets there, there's already a fucking body there. <laughs> One of the contestants j got killed. He got decapitated. And the rabbit has a bloody machete. And he's just looking at everyone like, I didn't do it. You can't prove it. As, as he points the machete at everyone and blood is dripping down. <laughs> like, oh, dude, I fucking love you. Classic. Yeah, let's I'll try, I'll try to go through the people as quickly as I can. So, Ox is, like, the favorite to win just because he's is really good at killing everyone with a sword. I don't think that's Zodiac, Steven. I think I was correct with Zodiac being, you know, the Isaac. Well, the, the thing says Zodiac War, so but that's what I had to go off of. Is there, like... I don't know. It's probably a different Zodiac, man. Okay. All right. I, I don't care. You get... It's the, it's a Chinese thing. Yeah, yeah. It's the Chinese year of the whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah. Like, there, okay, there's a dog one where his thing is he bites people. There's a chicken where he can control crows. They all have different powers, and S Snake is fucking just died like before he even started. <laughs> and he he was supposed to be on on a team with Dragon, who was his twin brother, and his brother just did not even give two shits. <laughs> so they have all these zany characters. They got like an old man to be the sheep who really likes using explosives. A burly horse. A sheep. sheep who really likes using explosives? He, everyone just dresses as their thing. It's like the burpers, the um, chicken just wears a chicken outfit. Huh. Like a revealing chicken outfit. Like nice. If you, if, if you can believe that. Sexy. Um, the dog just kind of looks like a dog. The ox just has the two ox horns and nothing else. Like, he, he does wear clothes, but like nothing else to show that he's um ox. Oh, whoops. Um, Boar just wears, like, two tusk earrings. Okay. And she just carries around two heavy machine guns. And her ability is never reload. Huh. Yeah. So, 
near, like, halfway through the first episode, like, okay, so all of you, there are these gems on this table. I need each of you to eat one. <laughs> what? And they do. And it's like, well, you all just ate poison. Oh, nice. You have 12 hours to live, unless you can get all the gems back to us in time. Boom. Yeah. And the, and the one guy whose brother died was just like, yeah, so since my brother died, can I just have his gem? Like, yeah, sure, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, the, the the guy in charge of all just seems like kill, dude. Okay. Yeah. Glad so, to hear. Yeah, so immediately, w probably someone who's going to die, the monkey, which is like, yeah, so why don't we all just agree to, you know, um, go for a passive victory? Like, if you all give me your gems, we can vote that, like, this, like, none of us have to die in this event. Uh, and, then, and then a few people were like, oh, yeah, sure, why not? And then, you know, people didn't like that because they wanted their own wish. Oh, okay. So the floor crumbled out, and at the end of the first episode, it's a showdown between Bunny Man and Boar Lady. Bunny Man and Boar Lady. And Bunny Man fucking destroyed. <laughs> he, I don't... The Bunny Man is a necromancer. The Bunny is a... <laughs> 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 Wait, well, all right, you know what? You, you, you've hooked me. You, you, you got me with the clickbait, Steve. Yeah. So, Explain. so he 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 he, he, won off, he got the snake. He resurrected him and just had him like sneak around behind the bar and just grapple her okay. as he just jumped in and stabbed her. All it's right. like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I lied about killing him. I was the one who actually did it. And her <laughs> final words were, "I fucking knew it." <laughs> nice. Yeah. So. The first episode focused heavily on the boar. I'm like, oh, okay, she's probably gonna make it a long time. I'm like, oh. Oh wait, was it just ah? God damn it. So they do the thing of Game of Thrones where they. Hmm. Wait. Like, what does it matter though? What do you mean? Oh, can, yeah, grab a lot. Um. Yeah. So so they focus heavily on her, and I thought like, oh, okay, she's gonna she's gonna make it long, and you know, Game of Thrones that, and then. They just are slowly dwindling down. They are already down to the final eight as of episode four. Okay. Yeah, like I... Nice. Yeah. They have thus far... I don't want to say who's died. I just want to do, like, the first episode. But, yeah, so far, a lot of episodes have folk... It's like, this episode focuses on this character. Like, we get to know what they do and, like, a bit of their backstory. And I really like it. Okay. So, so far... That is probably the show I'm most excited for this anime season. Uh, now, the next show, DS Irie. Um, I started off with... Oh, you're just doing like a grab bag. Yeah, I'm going through a bunch. Okay. Um, Dearest Irie, where I heard about it, and what I heard was super-powered Nazis. Huh. Oh, I get it. Oh, can you drop, Fuck. Can you drop Alphonse on it? Oh, wait, yeah, maybe it is just Alphonse. I thought it was one of the TNT barrels. Yeah. Um, get over there, big boy. He's fat. Yep. Okay, um, good, good call, Steve. <laughs> yeah, um, so this one I heard was just super-powered Nazis. Okay. And I started out with episode zero. I thought it was the first episode. Where it's just them back in, um, like, you know, during World War II, like, 1939, I believe. And, yeah, they were just all super-powered ones. And there was just this one guy, this really uh, blonde dude, who's like, okay, he's probably going to just... This really blonde dude. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I don't know how to describe it. I was going to say buff, but he's not actually that buff. But yeah, he's just, so far, seems like he's the main villain. And there's just been a lot of different super-powered ones where they haven't shown too much super-power other than just, you know, super strength and the default of, yeah, this person can use God fire. God damn it. I accidentally moved Fatty off the button. Uh... My bad. Yeah. Um. So. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. What I was saying. Um. So there was just this giant floating city that apparently Hitler just kind of had. What? <laughs> and it could teleport between dimensions. How come they never told us about this? I don't know. I would have paid so much more attention in history. Ah, I mean, I, I enjoyed history class. Yeah. Also, in one of the in the opening, it shows just like a giant death robot. I'm like, wow, Hitler easily should have won. Yeah. Like, how, how did he fuck up that bad? Yeah, so... Okay, okay so... I, th I think Aggie just had to, like... I just have to do it without, like, spawning someone to me. Yeah, without using spider. So, yeah. Okay. The first episode was just... I don't really know how to describe it. It was just kind of happening. And <laughs> I was just kind of there. Okay. So, one of my... Oh, God. One of my... 
one of the favorite scenes that I got was, so there were these two like really powerful women who are called like the Valkyrie and Oh my suck. god. And wait, they were finding these two like villains. Yo, this is too far back, game. This is way too far back. Let's try again, Alphonse. Um, uh. There were these two super power villains, and they were finding two of the kicks. And the blonde dude just comes up, and he just walks into the, like, the first group that time. He's like, and he just beats the his woman ally aside, like, please move. <laughs> <laughs> and he just one punches the fucking the, the dude. And then he goes, okay, good. No, 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 we're fine. And then he does it to the other group where he just walks up, hits hits his woman out, and is like, please move. Wow. <laughs> what an asshole. He fucking just saved their lives, I think. What, what? Also, both of them came over like, sir, don't do this. Let us handle this. <laughs> He's like, no. Okay. I'm actually important. So, there was that. And then... Okay, there we go. And then at the end of episode zero, they just showed... Um... They showed, like, a bunch of different villains. Like okay. I said, like, the default of, yeah, one guy can use fire. Another default, which you probably want to know, uh, like, it's common for, like, one character to be very powerful who uses strings. Cause okay. Because it, it's overpowered. So, yeah. Didn't get much, like, it would just show a lot of characters, which I'm excited for. And then... So. You made it all the way up here. Molstrom didn't even suspect you guys were coming. <laughs> of course, I knew better. Please, just let us through to see Molstrom. There must be a way to stop this path of destruction that you've led us on. I have little time before the captain figures out you are here. That that means you'll let us go. I didn't hear no. <laughs> Hardly. Oh. I mean, I don't care how stiff your dick is. Just let us out of here. <laughs> we can solve this so easily if you just let me and my friends pass. Friends. <laughs> I was your friend. No, I was your Why mother. would you ever feel the need to seek such frailties? Pathetic, powerless, only weaklings, blah, 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 blah. Random asshole. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you abandoned us, blah, blah, blah. He feels betrayed. Yeah, okay. Keep so, talking, Steve. So, then, it, then I went to episode one, and it was modern day Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, huh. At first, I'm like, oh, okay, we're killing, like, are, are, are the Japanese going to fight Hitler? Because so I, I don't think that's how that went in the canon. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was how it was. Like, Japan, like, own up, you were part of it. <laughs> so, I was a little... Con it, it didn't say, like, modern day. It just... It was just, like, at a Japanese school. I'm like, okay, so we're just at a Japanese school. And... You know... Aha, it, I'm gonna heat him up. And eventually he's <laughs> gonna get so hot he's gonna have to take his clothes off. <laughs> it's the perfect strategy. Ow, oh, fuck. Yeah, so... I th I, it's kind of hard for me to explain the, the episode one. It's pretty much the main character. He wasn't like in World War Two, and a, pretty much a lot of the cast are just um, reincarnations of the people from World War Two. Reincarnations from the people. In so, World War II. so in, in the first scene, the main character is fine. The blonde dude I talked. Oh about. god, he goomba stomped me. <laughs> he was fine. The blonde dude, but they were in modern day Japan. And, like, they were just reincarnated or some bullshit, I think. Okay. They haven't explained it yet, and I've only one episode. Die, die! Well, technically Keep two. doing that. But, yeah. So. That. So, it's just a bunch of, like, yeah, we're just building up. Like, we're showing the main character's life. And there's this one point where he goes to a weapon show because his one of his friends is just wants to go there so he can get over his fear of knives. Because, for some reason, he doesn't like knives. Or, like, any sharp object. You mean, like, his fear of Nazis? Yeah. So, at, at the... Well, it was more of a sword display. Like, Swords of the World, I think it was called. And what... <laughs> and there was just this one hallway that they went down. Dude, it, get up! Thank you. It was this hallway that was, like, beckoning to him. And at the end of it was just a rusted gu guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> and we find out that it was the guillotine that killed him. Oh. Yeah, it was just guillotine. And... It was this weird fever dream where some random kick is, like, with, like, a cut mark, that, like, through her neck, showing, like, she got guillotined as well. She got guillotined? <laughs> I don't know the proper verb. She got her head cut off. Yeah. And it was... I'm assuming they used the guillotine for the head. Maybe this is one of those, you know, cut their limbs off one at a time sort of guillotines. Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, there was, this, there, was this, there, was this, there was this weird song going on. I think she was singing it, or he was just thinking of it in the past where the... Town folks were chanting, What the fuck? Give us blood, give us blood. And the entire time, like, 
He's gonna have to fucking get guillotined to go back to Nazi Germany, it's isn't that, he? It's not called getting guillotined, Steven! I don't care, I like it. But yeah, so... That was pretty much m m most of the first episode. They showed a bunch of different characters, some of which were like World War II. And near the end of it, they show reincarnated versions of the people from from Nazi Germany in full Nazi gear, okay. just walking the fucking streets. Okay. And, and then, that's hot. Yeah. And they're like, uh, we will now succeed where the Fuhrer has failed or some bullshit. So this is still modern day Japan. Yeah. They're just like Nazis in modern day Japan. Yeah. They, they got reincarnated or transferred or some bullshit. I honestly don't know half the fucking time at this point. Okay. So the next one is called King's Game. You know what the King's Game is, right? Uh. All right. I'll, I'll just explain. So the King's Game is a party game. Where it, um, you have, let's say you have like 10 people. You get 10 chopsticks, label nine of them one through nine, and then the last one has a red dot. Everyone draws. Is this in Persona 4? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. I, I can explain this for yeah, everyone. Yeah. So, whoever draws the red one is known as the king, and then they issue orders, but they can only, but they had to say like the number. So you don't know who you're giving the order to. So it's just a fun party game. And Pat. Yeah. This is a fucked up show. Okay. It's enough, It's the other death game I was saying. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where pretty yeah, game, game of Kings is getting a bit uh, getting a bit crazy. I yeah. see. Um. So pretty much the main thing is the the main character the the main character transfers and goes to a new school and everyone gets this text from the king. Okay. And they had to perform the task or else they just fucking die. And everyone just plays it off as a joke at first. <laughs> but the main character was in a different King's game. And he was the only survivor. Hmm. And he's just like... And he was the one of the first two to get a task. Where he's like, yeah, you two kiss. And he's like, I don't want to fucking do this. I just want to fucking die. But the kid just really had the hots for him for some weird reason. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and they just kissed like right before it happened. And then the next task was, yeah, if you're asleep for the for today... Having a friend wasn't that bad after all. Whatever, see you in the fucking shadow realm. Dude. Gimbo. Yeah, so... The, immediately after, like, the next day at midnight, the task was, if you go to sleep, you will fucking hang yourself. And, like, half the cast just fucking hung themselves. Yeah. Hanged themselves. And, yeah. I only got an episode in, and it's, like, just fucked up. And I don't know if I'll continue. Okay. Hey, I don't know, I'm... I have a lot of different things which I'm interested in. Some I didn't get through all the anime I wanted to. All right, so I have one more I can talk about. Oh wait, I, I, I can have a second one I can talk about, but I get, but that one could just be a full thing. Okay. So there's this show called Black Clover, which was my dog is brown, Stephen. Which was hyped up and. So far, a lot of people hate it, and I'm I'm in the minority of I ha I have hope for this show. <laughs> Probably show up any second. Uh, we need to be quick. Hey, look at these. These are the relics, everyone. Let's break the cages and try to get the relics out. One for each of us. Um, how do we wait? We don't have Master Getty. Um, so I want to impress this. Black Clover to me, it feels a lot like Naruto. <laughs> oh God. The main character wants to become a really influential character in the world. He's absolute shit at the start, where it's it's the it's a world of magic people, and he rolled a warrior. <laughs> he can't use any magic, and instead he just has these cages don't seem to break easy. Uh, Alphonse, you know about these things? How can we break them? They're heavily reinforced. Okay, Malstrom himself needs to open these. Crud. So that's it. I mean, we can defeat Malstrom. You got some of that. He's a great fighter. Take heart. And I guess his ill news been an advent and Alstrom had a relic. Currently, their relics are all here. He should be considerably weaker compared to when we fought him in advent. If there's ever a time when we could defeat him, it would be now. Gulp. Gulp. Alright. Oh, man. We've gone up against terrible odds before. In fact, I prefer it this way. I just love seeing him laugh. Yeah. <laughs> An hour from now, I'll be able to tell everyone the twig, the world's greatest spider, defeated Molstrom in the Scourge of the Skies. You sure why not? Yeah. <laughs> I believe Captain Molson's lies at the end of this corridor. Whatever happens, that will likely be the last time we fight together. She ends here. We should prepare yourselves for that. Let us go. It's a victory! Yeah, okay. right. so this show reminds me a lot of Naruto. And the first episode I thought was really great. 
Because it, it had a lot of humor. Because the main character ha- has a love interest, and his love interest is just not interested. <laughs> it's like, why won't you date me? And then, like, there are four characters that are like, you're, you're immature, you're obnoxious, you're annoying, you're short. Oh, okay. And they just have, like, these um, down boats, like, just piercing into him each time. Ulstrom, it's really him. Oh, fuck. We didn't think it was through. Yeah. Monster! What's this? The guards let you in? Prepare yourself, we come to defeat you. You're gonna fight me? You can't hear it right now, Steve, but this guy's actually audibly laughing. Oh, okay. Rather than just going like, Brrr. At least entertain me until the relics are finished charging, then I will. Eh. What was that? Did we destroy Advent? Oh, uh, the relics are finished charging. Oh, God, Getty's gonna steal them and become Maelstrom. <laughs> okay. Hello, Owlman. All right, now going back after this. Oh my god, are you actually the main villain? <laughs> are you actually going to become evil? Gimme, gimme, and gimme. Huh. Loser! He's on a mo- he's on he's gonna, he's gonna go kill the bullies at the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alarm, the rogues have been stolen! How the hell could this have happened? We were keeping such good eye on them. How did this guy manage to open them? Eh. Fire blasters! Oh, right, he snuck in as part of them, so he was probably allowed to. No. Um. Oh, there's Captain. Oh, wait, so. Tell him the owl boy has stolen. Wait, I'm the owl boy! No! You're, you're a fucking nerd, I'll wedge you! You're the owl man. The owl boy has stolen the Look relics. Look at Otis. Yeah, he's, Otis is like, I'm the owl boy. <laughs> that little pest double crossed me. Oh, God, he's gonna you! be. I'm going to destroy three. Okay, we are fighting Maelstrom then. Uh, okay. Hi, Gaddy. We've done it. <laughs> oh, it's Alphonse. Spider thing. No time to chat. Let's get out of here. I want to fight. Okay, yeah, see you later. Oh, sorry. Thanks. He lost his weapon. Yeah. Now we have the ranged advantage. <laughs> yeah, so. Like, Oliver had a lot of humor for me, and. Everyone gets what's known as a grimoire, which is just, you know, a book of magic. Yeah, okay. They all get on their 16th birthday, and the main character just didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> like, they all... Everyone just goes to, like, this magic place where it's, like, this ancient library, and bo- the grimoires just pick them. And everyone just got them, like, oh, sweet! And then the main character is just, like, saying, like, when's mine coming? <laughs> and everyone just looked at him with, like, man, that guy sucks. <laughs> Um, another, another comparison to Naruto, he, he trains really hard to, you know, become the best. Because yeah. he wants to become known as the Wizard King. Or he's just the greatest wizard in the, in the kingdom, I guess. <laughs> you know, not, 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 I'm going to say he can't because he has no magic, but fuck it. So, and he has his best friend slash rival, which is just, okay, hello there, just, you know, Sasuke. Yeah. He got, like, one of the best grimoires, where it's like, It's a four-leaf clover! That's, like, one of the best. And, like, why? It's because each of, each of the leaves symbolizes something, and the fourth leaf means good means luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, so he's lucky, is what I'm getting at. So, a guy tries to steal Sasuke's... I, I, don't, I don't remember his name. Tries to steal Sasuke's book... And instead, the main character goes and tries and goes to save him, and they are just hopelessly outmaxed until, lo and behold, plot convenience, the main character's book just kind of shows up, and he just pulls out a motherfucking great sword out of it. Oh. Out of his book? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, he just opens it, and he just pulls it out. Yeah, just took it and Uh, left. Okay, so I have to find a ship of some sort, and I don't believe they gave me much direction on how to do that. Yeah. I will... Maybe it's just... Maybe the professor has one. Yeah, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe he just fucking has one. But yeah, so... He he then just beats up the guy in, like, one hit. Which, so far, he's done two fights. And both fights, it's literally just been one hit. Huh. Where the other person's just like, You think you can beat me? You think sleeping would have given me my HP back? Nah. Dude, you were, like, shot by nuclear warheads, I think. Yeah, and... 
I'm the owl boy. Yeah, Actually, right. no, I'm not the owl boy, but... Alright, so... There's still a few more that I want to... There's three more shows I want to watch, but I can, I can just quickly say, like, I'm excited for all of them. I've heard great things about all of them. It's just, I didn't have time. I only got one episode into the Nazi show. <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of excited for that one, even though I'm slowly thinking, like, maybe this isn't going to be as good as I think. So the first one, uh, like... I'm just going through Conky Roll again. It's called The Recovery of an MMO Junkie. What? <laughs> it's about a chick who um has a midlife crisis, quits work, and just plays MMOs. <laughs> Otis, why are you here? You should evacuate. Pirates can strike. That's right. It's been a size of Lion Master. Something is right. The end of Your gods are false. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to be the key saving deal. Really? Who? We don't know. Went above the mesosphere. Otis can't fly that high. All right, keep talking about this. Oh, I'll, I'll just yeah. summarize it. All right, um, yeah, so I know it's a... I know the last time we trusted Otis, things didn't go so yeah. well. <laughs> um, as far as I know, it's a love story between two characters. Um, the main character, the chick, plays as a dude in, in the game, and he she befriends a female avatar who's played by a dude. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, you got that going. And I've seen... At least one post on Anime RL about where, where the the guy playing the kick is just like, please stop saying the cry emoji, and it just cuts to hard, just like constantly hitting hitting enter while crying. <laughs> <laughs> so I got decent high hopes for it. Um, the next one is called Kino's Journey. Okay. Where it's just some girl. I'm not totally sure if it's a guy or a girl. Okay. Where it just goes through different um, countries with different roles and just, you know, sees. It's like some. It's like, okay, this country just has the role of, like, murder is legal or some bullshit like that. Okay. And I don't really think she does anything. I think she's just there as more of an observer and just going through, just going through the world. What's the time, Rat Steve? Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not anywhere near it. I, don't, I, don't, I was wondering, like, because, like,. You know, there's a chance I could go on to the next world, but at the same time, uh, I think I'm just gonna go get some coins because the next upgrade is at 1750 and I'm at 1742. Yeah, go go get coins. So I'm going. I'm just gonna go do that. So ju just like letting everyone know, this next part's gonna be little progress. And uh, okay, so Steve, continue. Right. And the final one, which I think most of our saying is like probably the best this season so far, is called the Ancient Magus Bride, where um, it's a world of magic again. And the main character is a chick, and she gets sold off at a creepy auction and gets married to um a, a some skeleton demon dude. Yeah, yeah, like like you do. Yeah, and from what I can tell, it's a really good love story. Oh wow, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, she's actually like a really good wife, and the guy's actually a really fucking great husband, though. <laughs> so you know, I got a few um. I got I got these three to go on, and I want to get through a few episodes and hopefully, um, enjoy them because <laughs> this the cause, quote unquote yeah. yeah now that <laughs> I'm unemployed I can yeah. now watch all the anime I need oh my god yeah but don't worry I'm I'm looking for jobs yeah I was gonna say don't be employed don't be unemployed just so you can watch anime Steve I'm no, no, not <laughs> I can't actually support that <laughs> um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll probably, you know, in two weeks talk about the other three, and I might try another one or two because there are two others which I'm kind of considering just because I've heard of them. I don't oh, even and, know and where I, the, what area am I in right now? I, I want to know because the coin overview is just like. Let's go to Metsos. You got a gold star, though. So I was going to say, I already got all the coins there. Why would I go there? <laughs> Alright, so you... I suppose... Oh, but the Mezzo's Passage, though, I didn't do much with, yeah. so... I can go there. Uh, oh, I thought by that you meant I had, like, you know, another tw 10 or 15 minutes left in the episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, then, yeah, that's, uh, that's very easy, then. So, we're going to call it right here. I'm going to go find some coins off camera, and I will meet you guys back in Buccaneary's shop and get that last upgrade. And then after that, we'll go see what they're talking about over at Veal. If you guys want to recommend me any anime to talk about, leave a comment below. Don't recommend me JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Tom. Okay, uh... 
yeah, so everyone's homework is to recommend Steve and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, episode specific. Tell them your favorite parts. <laughs> All right. Actually, just give me a screenshot of, like, any scenes. That, that'll, that's all I'll do. Please like the video down below. It helps us out a whole bunch. Maybe comment. But if not, that's cool, too. I hope you all have a great day. I don't. Goodbye. <laughs>